Breast cancer is traditionally thought of as a women's disease. However, both women and men have breast tissue. It's just that men and boys traditionally do not produce enough estrogen for that breast tissue to grow. But like all cells of the body, a man's breast duct cells can undergo cancerous changes, causing the rare diagnosis of male breast cancer. The American Cancer Society says the five-year survival outlook for male breast cancer patients all depends on when it was diagnosed. Patients who find the disease at stage zero or one have a 100% chance of being cured. When found at stage two, a 91% survival rate, stage three, a 72% survival rate, followed by a 20% survival rate at stage four. Doctors stress the importance of regular annual checkups and a follow-up visit when you suspect something isn't right. Dr. Fred Wittenstein, radiologist at Florida Hospital Waterman's Mammography Center, tells Hometown Health how they diagnose and treat male breast cancer. Men with breast cancer will present in a similar way to women. The thing with men is that they think it's not breast cancer, and they're not worried about breast cancer, and they're not thinking about breast cancer. So they tend to present much later, and it takes a long time before they finally show up at a doctor with a complaint. They'll look for other reasons, such as a strain at work or an injury at the gym, and kind of write it off as nothing important and finally show up at a doctor. Well, the primary thing that you worry about is a lump. So if there's a palpable lump, particularly a lump that's not getting better or that's getting bigger, then that should send you to a doctor to get worked up. Other things would be pain, skin retraction or inversion of the nipple, a sore that doesn't heal, swelling of lymph nodes in the armpit. Those are the kind of things that you would look for. We have a mammography center and 90 plus percent of our patients are women. We have a separate waiting area for men so that they're a little bit away from the, the general flow of the women patients. But once a man gets in, he's treated the same way. So we get two views of each breast. We always do both breasts because that way you have one to compare to the other. It's a very straightforward procedure. You come in, you take off your shirt, very easy for guys and they're done standing up typically and the machine comes in and compresses the breast and we'll compress the breast top to bottom and then we'll compress the breast sort of side to side on a bit of an angle and we take two views of each side. They're done with digital technique now so they're very fast. We don't have to develop films anymore and those films are reviewed and then depending on what they show, we'll very often go get an ultrasound for more information. The mortality rate is directly related to how early we catch it and what stage it is. We stage things typically one through four so the higher the number, the more disease, and the, the more the disease has spread. So for men and women, if you catch it early, the survival rate is very, very high. And the problem for men is that we catch it later because men don't come in and present as early as women do. They don't get routine screening and only present when there's a problem. So a man who's got a stage one or two has a very, very high, of over 90% survival rate, whereas a man who's got a stage four disease, it's only about 20%. So being aware, being alert, and, and getting on these things quickly is the most important thing for both men and women. As with most diseases, if caught early, male breast cancer can be cured. We talked to one Lake County man about his experience with breast cancer. I had been dealing with skin cancer, slow growth skin cancer, which is an ongoing battle, especially if you live in Florida. And I mentioned to the doctor uh, that something was going on with my right breast. He looked at it and immediately took a biopsy. Because they were afraid that what I had was very aggressive, they immediately gave me a mastectomy. So from the time I found out I had cancer to the time I had the mastectomy was weeks, literally weeks. When you first get that diagnosis, like, all, like everybody who gets the cancer, um, it's a shock. At first, you don't believe them because men don't get breast cancer. We don't hear about men with breast cancer. So one side of me was like, what? You, you, could, you must be wrong. This can't be right. Then as I went through the process, I began to realize that men are 1%, but yet the highest rate of mortality because they ignore it. I would tell people, they go, oh my God, Rich, you have cancer. What kind? Breast cancer. Men get breast cancer? Really? Yes, I have breast cancer. Florida Hospital Waterman has been designated a breast imaging center of excellence by the American College of Radiology. If you'd like more information about their digital mammography services or to schedule an appointment, follow the Men and Breast Cancer Story Link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.